This is an Apple Power Mac G4. I picked this up from Facebook Marketplace for about £10. And I don't know if it works. Um, all I've done is had a look inside to see what's in there and check the battery. Battery, um, I'll show you what that is like. So yeah, let's have a quick look inside before we power it on. So with this we can lift it down and then spin this around and we can see we have got the processor heatsink here, pretty large. And then there's another tray here. The battery here looks okay. And yeah, we've got some memory slots here. Two of them are filled. Can't quite see what it says. We've got an ATI graphics card and it looks like that's in an AGP slot. And then if we have a look got these additional slots here and the graphics card actually has a fan um, looks a little bit gunked up and we have an IBM desk star or death star as they're often called some dust bunny a fan here a power supply here which I think says it's a 338 watt power supply optical drive and not sure what this section here is. Um, speaker here, but you can see it's um, an IDE system and there's not much more to it. I don't know what this card here is. Not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, I'll just try and give this a little bit of a dust. Um, I'm not sure it spins very smoothly, but I'll give that a bit of a brush before powering it on. I think the bearings in that sound pretty bad. Um, but we can see what happens when we switch it on. On the back we've got Firewire and a VGA connector and I'm going to connect the power cable now and then I'm going to press the power button. Ooh, that hard drive is bad. Not sure if you can fully hear that, but that hard drive is basically clicking. They were called IBM Death Stars for a reason. And the fan on the graphics card. Isn't great, but it's spinning. Um, but we do have this hard drive. That is not good. So I think 
this is where this video probably ends. There is nothing in the optical drive, but we could try the Ubuntu disk that I found in another Mac and see if that works. Okay, so reading from the Ubuntu Live CD, we're going to see if this works. Trying to um, do the auto align option on this. Um, what do I just, but we've lost the display. Oh, it's booting. Booting Ubuntu 12.04. That hard drive is loud. Um, we've got this message. Um, is this an error message? It does seem like we're getting some errors. Um, but I guess I can leave it running and see if we get to a graphical user interface. Um, hmm. Starting stuff. Starting is good. <laughs> Stopping things is bad. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, so we got a system is running in low graphics mode. Your screen, graphics card, and input device settings could not be detected correctly. You'll need to configure these yourself. But we've got an X, so we can click OK. Hopefully. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get a desktop with a graphical user interface of some kind. Let's just go for run in low graphics mode for one session. interesting to have a look at the uh, specifications of this machine how much memory it's got what speed the processor is things like that um, if it's doing something now then I guess it's pretty slow um, okay
Okay, so it's sort of running. Um, does this tell us anything interesting? I'm guessing these commands aren't necessarily going to be on here. Um, and I don't have internet access. So I'm guessing... Let's try that one again. No, it's not there. So, um, okay, so I've run the LS CPU uh, command and we've got this information, Power Mac 3,4, got the cache information, we've got one CPU and yeah, that's what that says. And I think the top shows us our memory. Um, so it looks like we might be running 128 megabytes of RAM, which isn't very much, which could explain the slowness. Um, okay, let's switch it off. Um, I guess I need to put in the time, but let's just power it off. And I'll see if the it will boot from the hard drive. It sort of doesn't seem to be making the same clicking noises. Then again, it just did make a clicking noise. So we'll just see if we can boot from the hard drive and see what happens. Entirely sure what it's doing right now. Okay, it's um, still failing to boot from the hard drive that's in here. So I guess for the time being, this is just uh, going to be a um, PC that Power PC Mac that doesn't work. Um, until I replace that hard drive and reinstall the operating system. Um, but I think I'll leave that for another time or another video and yeah, I think I'll just give it a quick clean now. Thanks for watching, goodbye. Looking at the back of this Power Mac G4, we can see that it's got a modem here and it's actually got the specifications for this on here. So it's a Power Mac G4 with a 466 megahertz processor, CD rewriter, 128 megabytes SD RAM and a 30 gigabyte hard drive. So it's quite an old system. Um, yeah, maybe, you know, uh, 128 meg, 466 megahertz. You're thinking sort of maybe Windows 98 era, Windows 2000 perhaps. 
in the PC world. So um, I'm wondering, thinking, would this be a Mac OS 9 machine or an OS X? Let me know in the comments if you know. Um, and what would you do with this Mac? Um, this is quite, I guess, low power um, system. Um, maybe some old Mac systems might be useful on this, but with a dead hard drive, um, gonna probably um, take a while to get this reinstalled properly with the correct operating system. So I'll have a look online and see what see what there is, what this should be using.